In the previous video, I shared insights with you as to how to adapt your leadership style in times of uncertainty. In this video, I'm going to share insights as to how to lead your teams during times of uncertainty. There are 10 questions that I'm going to ask you to reflect on, and based on the insights that you gain, you're going to take the action on it. Here's question number one. What does talent mean for you during time of uncertainty? The second part of that question is, once you have identified what does talent mean for you and your business during times of uncertainty, what do you need to instill in your business to nurture this talent in your teams? That's question number one. Question number two, what will give you the edge to lead your teams during this time of uncertainty? Question number three, what has been the hidden strength among your team that sort of just popped up as a consequence of lockdown? And what can you do post lockdown to redirect teams to projects so that those strengths can be utilized? Question number four, I want you to reflect back on how time was utilized during the lockdown process and identify any task that was time wasters, misallocated or just lacked priority. Once you have identified those, then answer this question. Post lockdown, what are some of the changes that you are going to implement in your business and how staff conducts business to manage time better, especially if some of your staff members are still going to be working from home. Question number five, what in your business have you been tolerating and can no longer accept during a period of post lockdown? And the second part of that question is, what actions are you going to take to deal with these energy draining tolerations? Now, question number six deals with tasks that need to be completed post lockdown. There are tasks that are high impact to the business and tasks that are low impact to the business. There are tasks that are gonna take a lot of effort and there's tasks that's gonna take minimal effort. So using that as a matrix, you have tasks that are high impact and high level of effort. Those are your big projects. The question is, which teams are you going to allocate to those big projects? Then you've got tasks that are high impact, but require low effort. And those are your quick wins. So again, which teams are you going to allocate to those projects? Number three, consider tasks that are high effort but low impact and for those you need to reconsider creative ways in order to get those tasks done or perhaps delegate those tasks which is called hard slogs to someone who is a little bit more inspired to get those things done and finally you get tasks that are low impact and are low effort and those are called filler tasks just get that things done otherwise they tend to have a creep and it just builds up into something much bigger question number seven Reflect on your existing or potential crisis that needs to be dealt with. Number two, where has been the interruptions to your workflow? And what changes need to happen to avoid these interruptions post lockdown? And number three, ask yourself, what are some of the distractions that has occurred to you and your team during lockdown? And again, what are some of the changes that needs to happen post lockdown to avoid these dis distractions? Number eight, I want you to conduct a post lockdown reflection with your team. What worked, what did not work. You could use the, uh, the model of what to stop, what to start doing, what to continue doing, what to do more of and what to do less of. Question nine, what does what type of culture do you need to instill in your team going forward? There's no right or wrong answer here. You could choose a culture that's disruptive, or maybe you could call the culture winning, or maybe it's a sustainable culture. So the question is, what type of culture and team do you wish to create post lockdown? Then the final question is, what are you going to change in your business? in order to create this team or the culture that you have established. 
These are the 10 questions to reflect on your le leadership of your team post lockdown. And I would suggest putting some answers to these, uh, sitting with your fellow team members to gain some insights for this. And once you do that, then you can go on to the, the next video in this 10 part video series to helping you gain some reflection of your business post lockdown. I'll see you then.